The opioid epidemic hasn't slowed during COVID-19. Addiction continues to have fatal effects in central New York. Today is International Overdose Awareness Day, and around the world, people are bringing awareness to the struggles of addiction. Earlier tonight, News Channel 9's Josh Martin spoke with an officer from Cortland who has seen the impacts of overdoses on the job and in his family. We have to always remember to be empathetic to the situation. Empathy is something all families dealing with addiction desperately need. The fight to stop the stigma of heroin and opioid abuse hasn't faltered during the COVID-19 pandemic. Officer Jesse Abbott of the City of Cortland Police Department lost a loved one just three years ago to an overdose. His cousin Cody broke his jaw at age 22, and after taking opioids for the pain, struggled to break free of those medications and turned to heroin. And I live by those words that addiction does not discriminate. Uh, Cody had a very loving and supportive family. Uh, he unfortunately leaves behind a, a very young son who's 12 years old. As the community-oriented police officer of the department, Abbott's job is to connect with people. When it comes to addiction, he has a strong voice and experience to help those that are using and their families. And understand that relapse is oftentimes a part of recovery. So even if the family or loved ones are feeling frustrated that uh, their loved one is, you know, battling addiction, uh, continue to be there for them. Offer them the services. I know Syracuse, Onondaga County, Cortland County, they all, they all offer uh, numerous services for people with addiction problems. The Centers for Disease Control says thousands of people die of overdoses each year in the United States. Josh Martin, News Channel 9. And Prevention Network took action today. In just five minutes, you can be trained on Narcan, which is a life-saving tool that reverses the effects of an overdose. Dozens of people drove up for this training this afternoon in Syracuse, including a mom who wants to make sure everyone can save a life if needed. Very necessary, very needed. Um, I like to get the word out. I have a son who's in active addiction. I've lost many, many people to this disease, and I've been in recovery myself for a long time. Well, if you couldn't make it today, we do have links on localsbr.com where you can get trained.